Are you thinking about selling your home but feel overwhelmed by how much work it needs? Well, I'm here to give you some good news. I'm going to show you five things you don't need to worry about fixing when selling your home. Let's get started. <laughs> My name is Teresa Fudge and I am Swanee Georgia's favorite running realtor with Keller Williams Realty Atlanta Partners. I make new videos each week to teach you what you need to know about buying, selling and living your very best life here in the Swanee Georgia area. If you've been beaten up by a real estate agent that toured your home and gave you a long laundry list of things you need to do before they even think about selling your house, you're in luck. I would be lying if I told you you don't need to do anything. That's just not the case point of preparing your home to sell is so that it appeals to the largest pool of buyers. You want it to sell for the highest amount of money in the shortest amount of time. So before I tell you what not to do, let's look at a few things you need to do. So if something is broken or defective and it affects the overall function of the major systems of the home, you need to get that fixed. So we're talking about things like making sure the electrical system is up to code and repairing the furnace that's broken. Some other important things would be like getting the pest control to come in and take care of insect infestation or maybe even repairing that leak under your kitchen sink. These are all things that a home inspector is going to write up in his report and it's going to land in your lap anyway. Not to mention it's going to cause a buyer to really question the overall integrity of the house. Okay, let's get back to what not to fix. Yes, it's true that the nicer a house looks, the better. But not all home repairs or upgrades are going to actually put money back in your pocket. Once you've fixed those important things, the rest of it's really up to you. So the first thing on our list is cosmetic damage. But what's cosmetic damage? These things are like scuffs on the floors, off-trend wall color, and maybe even popcorn or textured ceiling. Today's savvy buyers can look through things like this and see that these are not really affecting the overall function of the home and that they can be fixed really easily. This goes for light fixtures as well. If they're working, don't think you have to go replace them all, unless they are hideously ugly. Number two on our list is updating kitchens and bathrooms. But Teresa, I saw on Facebook that kitchens and bathrooms sell houses. While that is true sometimes, these are the projects that really add personality to the home. A lot of buyers really look forward to creating that perfect kitchen or master bathroom based on all the design ideas they've added to their Pinterest boards. These design choices can not only be really personal, but there are a bazillion choices. For me, it would be really easy to get caught up in the emotion of creating my perfect kitchen and completely lose sight of the fact that there is a for sale sign in my yard. Unless you know the exact buyer and what they want, don't do it. The third thing you can stop stressing over is making partial fixes. Have you ever tried to clean the carpet in the hallway only to find out that now the living room looks awful? It's a real thing, y'all. So back to the kitchen. Adding granite countertops to really bad cabinets is just throwing good money away. All you've really done is draw attention to what you didn't do. Either go all in or do nothing. Wow, we're already at number four, which is repainting in trendy colors. Color trends come and go so quickly. By the time you figure out what this year's it color is and get the project done, we're already on to next year's color. So if you're gonna paint it all, keep it neutral. Let that buyer choose the perfect trendy color to match that beautiful kitchen they've just designed. Number five is so important. Do not over improve for your neighborhood. Please, please, please pay attention to what your neighbors are doing to their houses. If it's normal for most houses to have upgraded appliances in the kitchen, it's okay for you to put upgraded appliances in the kitchen. If most houses have a wet bar in their finished basement, it's probably not smart for you to build an indoor pool with a swim up bar. If no one has Carrera marble in their kitchen, you probably shouldn't either. I think you get the point. So if you've got any questions about what you should or shouldn't do before putting your house on the market, you can always give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email. And if you're curious what your home's value is in this market, I put a link below where you can click and find out. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.